Well, I will talk about, about Chichaja, or in Latin name, Gauteria Insipida. Chichaja, or Gauteria Insipida, um, is a plant native to the Andes, used traditionally by indigenous female healers near the Colombian Amazon to prepare a brew with the same name, Chichaja, also known as the, as the female ayahuasca. Widely used today, before or after the consumption of ayahuasca in Colombian healing settings. Uh, Chichaja is an element that perhaps allows distinguishing a particular type of Colombian shamanism. Despite uh, its importance within ayahuasca healing ensemble, um, Chichaja has been barely studied. Well, that's the oldest uh, mention of Chichaja I have found. It's from uh, 1873. But there is no description of uh, the the use of the as a healing as a healing tool, which is made in Colombia. Uh, it is stated that the uh, yeah, the chichaja or golter insipida uh, grows up in Ecuador and in Colombia, but it's just in Colombia, to the best of my knowledge, where chichaja is used as a as a healing plant. Uh, the aim of this presentation is to describe the effects of shishaha over consciousness. Um, as shishaha is a, a no plant, I will make a comparison with ayahuasca, which is a better no plant. Uh, I will talk about difference and relationships with ayahuasca. But my, my main idea is that shishaha tends to alter in, div in divergent ways the consciousness of, of female and male drinkers. At least that's the idea uh, we defend according to the observations made during uh, field work started two years ago, which had been conducted in different parts of Colombia, but particularly in the West Amazon forest, um, the Putumayo, essentially. Uh, traditionally, she has been used uh, by Inga indigenous women uh, based in Simondoy, High Putumayo. Um, the Colombian anthropologist Clara Giraldo Tafur has studied the ways this plant, Chichaja, is used in, by Ingan women in Santiago, one of the main towns in Siundoy. We found the item Chichaja, um, among other 118 plants listed by the anthropologists, and we learned it is, um, yeah, uh, quote, it is useful to heal laziness, sleeping excess, and bodily pains. Uh, Giraldo Tafur listed seven different ways to prepare shishaha, and we can add at least two other recipes. Um, shishaha brew is nowadays used by various sham, ayahuasca shamans in Colombia. We have, for instance, Orlando Gaitan, a well-known titan in Colombia, winner of the so-called Alternative Priest Prize in 1990, who offers uh, ayahuasca and shishaha near Bogota. I will focus on the shamans I have shared time and experience with, within a field work started in December 2010 and finalized in July 2011. Um, so that's the shamans I work, I work to, with. Uh, they are the mestizo uh, Gregorio Castro and his wife Carmen Sachindoron Garreta from the Inga indigenous peoples. Um, they run a healing, uh, um, a healing center called Ornoyaco uh, located near Mocoa, below the Simondo Valley. Mm. While Gregorio is uh, responsible for all the matters related with ayahuasca, Carmenza is responsible for preparing the shishaha. The dry leaves of shishaha are ground, put in a cauldron with water, and boiled the entire night. At dawn, the liquid has reduced to just a few liters. Once the brew is ready, um, Carmenza shakes a uh, white asasha and, sh and, shants, uh, and shants to cast a spell on the brew, while Gregorio carries out the same ritual with ayahuasca. Uh, this uh, gender-based division of labor is related with the spirit that is associated to shishaha. It is a female spirit, a mother, who some shishaha drinkers report to have seen during their experience with the brew. Sometimes Shishaha is related with two spirits, a mother and her daughter, but in any case, it is always linked to a female presence. Uh, 
It is why Shishaha is called the female ayahuasca, a designation not restricted to Gregorio and Carmenza groups, but uh, that has been adopted by all around the country. So what does it mean for Shishaha to be associated with a female spirit or spirits? It seems to mean that women have less painful experiences with Shishaha. They have normally more relaxed and short processes uh, with the view in comparison with men's experiences. Indeed, as we can see in ceremonies as, and as reported by drinkers and shamans, most of the men have a hard time with Shishaha. Or in psychedelic terms, uh, we, we can say they have a bad trip. Uh, why does Shishaha affect in different ways male and female drinkers? We need a pharmacological study to answer that question in a complete way. Maybe there are some active components that act in different manners in male and female bodies, but a chemical research about the active components of shishaha to the, to the best of my knowledge uh, does not exist today. Uh, to answer this question, I use the participative uh, observation method. I listen to people talking about their experiences with shishaha, paying attention to gender differences, in the data observing shishaha drinkers. I could obtain six testimonies from people uh, who agreed to talk with me about their experiences with shishaha, two young men and two women over their thirties, the testimonies from Carmenza and Gregorio, the shamans, and of course I, I drank shishaha myself sometimes. Um, well, according to Carmenza, I quote, uh, the shishaha is the master mother and the ayahuasca is the father. Shishaha is a medicine for body and mind. When the process of a spiritual quest has begun, they help the being to, to look at himself and see what happened in oneself and what are the things that one needs to transform in oneself. It helps to become conscious. It's a center implant. It allows to reassess the feminine part of each one of us and teaches you to value your feminine side. From data collected in interviews, it seems Shishaha offers you bad trips or hard lessons if you have some patriarchal belief or attitudes. Some parts uh, of the interviews can illustrate such a, a, a hypothesis. For example, um, a young man talked about the moment his Shishaha experience became difficult to handle. I quote, I, I had asked Mother Shishaha to be gentle with me, to treat me with love. After drinking Shishaha, I continued my prayer, and a short time after, I started seeing images from the past. I was with my girlfriend in a taxi, traveling to the airport, and I was being rude with her. I blamed her for not knowing to which terminal we were supposed to, to go to, and for that reason, we were risking to miss our flight. When I saw these images, Shishaha told me, you did not treat your girlfriend with love. Why do you ask? to be treated with love by me? <laughs> At that moment, the young, continues, the, the young man continues, it became hell. Um, as we see from this story, uh, the spirit of Shishaha can talk to you, show you images, and you can talk with her, um, just as with ayahuasca. This oral account also teaches about the way Shishaha may spot which aspect of your personality you need to improve in order to be a better person. Um, another young man uh, shared with me a very intimate experience he had had with Shishaha. He told me that when he was younger, he used to watch a lot of, of pornographic videos. Once under the effects of Shishaha, um, I quote, I saw images of nude women especially their breasts, and I started having the feelings I usually have when masturbating or when penetrating a woman. The Shishaha told me, you are addicted to that sensation. You are addicted to sex. You cannot escape from here. You must recognize it. Yes, I do recognize it, answered the young man to Shishaha. And after I say that, he continues, I puked my soul. Um, here, Chishaha is an agent who helps the drinker to realize his limitations. And after doing so, um, the drinker has no choice because uh, he can escape from himself. Um, Chishaha then cleans up the drinker's body, opening the possibility to change 
what is wrong uh, with his sexuality. Mm, so far, uh, we have spoken about Shisha Hagilen's experience with men, but uh, what about women? As a female spirit, Shishaha seems to have preference with female drinkers. It's not strange to observe women who drink Shishaha, have short processes with the brew, uh, while men may be laid down all the day or even more. Um, we, uh, we see a woman who stood up and assisted other drinkers, uh, like uh, holding the head of the people who need to vomit but cannot move the head, changing drinkers' clothes, uh, etc. Uh, one of the women who had a short process with Shishaha just stood up with our assistance and told Gregorio, the shaman, uh, Shishaha has said to her that the brew has gone to the liver and has working with blood circulation, and that was all the process she had. Anyway, sometimes the female ayahuasca gives uh, hard lessons over trip to women. We have registered the case of a skilled female drinker with several and well past experiences with Shishaha although once she made the bad trip. Later she explained she got a hard process because she had no asked Shishaha spirit to kindly guide her during her experience. Instead of that, she has promised herself to be strong under the effects of Shishaha, and therefore Shishaha had punished her pride. Mm. Uh, from all the testimonies we have quoted, um, we can argue that one of the main teachings uh, uh, Shishaha offers to her sons and daughters is to learn to be gentle, soft, kind, lovely people, um, given the softness, delicate manners, and associated with a female way of being, while aggressive or proud manners are viewed as a male behavior, Chishaha has been qualified with a female personality, besides the fact that people see, listen, and feel a female spirit. Mm, this is just a hypothesis. Uh, I'm not saying that all women are delicate and all men are aggressive, uh, but only referring to a type of social representation on gender roles in Colombia and maybe in Western cultural in, in general. Mm. Now that we have a general view about Shishaha, about what is Shishaha, it's time to make a comparison between the female ayahuasca and the male or the classic ayahuasca in order to understand the place the female ayahuasca holds in the ayahuasca ensemble. We can list first the characteristics uh, which distinguish Shishaha from ayahuasca. Uh, Shishaha is always associated with a female spirit while ayahuasca could be linked either with female or male spirits or no sexual spirits. Um, Chichaja tends to induce different effects depending of, of, on the drinker's sex, which is not the case with ayahuasca. And it produces some particular symptoms. You feel hot waves on the face, and the arms, and your skin becomes extremely sensitive. Uh, any sensory stimulus is uh, dramatic amplify as an electrical vibration in your nerve. Indeed, you are advised not to take a shower after the experience because the feeling of water on the skin would be unbearable. Mm. Carmenza offers a dosis of about 20 centiliters of, of shishaha brew, which is uh, much more than a standard ayahuasca dosis. Mm. Shishaha is a very less concentrated brew and its, its taste is not uh, as bitter as ayahuasca taste but it's not very pleasant either. Um, about 20 or 45 minutes after consumption, you start to feel shishaha effects. It is quite common um, to see bright colors at the beginning of the process as orange, red, blue, uh, that occupy all your field of vision. During these moments, you see nothing but vivid colors. Um, between these periods of colorful blindness, uh, you can go through gaps of total blackness, um, and this full, full blackness could appear at several points of your experience, and last many minutes, um, you can feel very anxious. An American described this part of the Shishaha experience. He lived in Barishara, a little touristic town in northeast Colombia, where he drank Shishaha a few hours after the effects of ayahuasca have faded. Uh, the American had no idea about what he was drinking. So it was a surprise to him. Um, 
As I looked over my shoulder, the whole place, an eco village, uh, where, where I was standing just disappeared. I could no longer see anything. I went blind. I couldn't see a single thing except my own body. The entire place was pitch dark, and somehow I felt like I was in outer space. Mm, the ataxia uh, means the loss of body movement. Um, individuals sometimes experience with ayahuasca. Mm, it's much more common with shishaha. It's almost uh, a rule. Mm, therefore, with Gregorian Carmenza, it is mandatory if you are allowed to drink shishaha, to have a personal assistant that will take care of you. Ideally, you, the person who assists you may be a relative or, or a close friend. Eventually, he or she will guide you to the bathroom, help you with your clothes, because you cannot stand up or walk by, by yourself. Mm. Uh, this is very, very different from shisha, for an ayahuasca drinking when you don't need any preselected personal assistant. If you eventually suffer ataxia, you just can rely on the help of the shaman or shaman's assistant. With ayahuasca, you may choose the place you want to stay, a listening or noyako healing center. With shishaha, because of the very common ataxia, you must select a place to lay down before, before drinking. We have people, they just mm, drank the, the brew. Mm, uh, you may ask, uh, mm, what is the, the reason to drink shishaha plus ayahuasca, plus ayahuasca? At the end, what does shishaha offer that ayahuasca does not? Mm, well, shishaha specializes in certain teachings mm, because of its female nature, as it has been argued in this presentation. Mm, also, it is possible that shishaha complements the cleaning of ayahuasca. At least the use of shishaha and ayahuasca mm, is very related in our Noyako healing center. Most of the time, ayahuasca consumption takes place at night, while shishaha consumption takes place at the beginning of the day, before breakfast. Mm, shishaha would clean you up before ayahuasca. In that way, according with Taita Gregorio Castro, mm, you, will be, you will be able to reach a direct connection with the source, the information, God, yourself. Thus, uh, shishaha would allow you to have an actual entheogenical experience by skipping the purgative period often precedes ayahuasca visions. Mm, shishaha may improve the ayahuasca experience and foster your career as a shishaha ayahuasca drinker. And at the end of the at the end of shishaha processes, just as with ayahuasca, you feel more connected with yourself and with nature. Uh, to conclude this presentation, I would like to insist in the need to carry out at ethnobotanical research or Gauteri Incipida, as well as anthro an anthropological studies. You can go to Colombia and contact shamans using shishaha. Uh, we also need a chemical study of the, about the active components of shishaha. Maybe they would not be listed in any protocol. And in that case, just as we have people doing shamanist work with tobacco because tobacco is legal, it would be possible to use shishaha without facing legal troubles. Mm, finally, if somebody is looking for a PhD project or some subject to research in the entheogenical domain, shishaha is almost an unexplored matter. Thanks.